let's study simple interest formula is simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time divided by 100 in short we can write p into r into t divided by 100 let's see one question we are given principal equal to 2000 the rate equal to two years and time equal to say sorry the rate equal to say 20 percent and the time equal to say two years now we put these values here so p is 2000 multiplied by the rate is 20 percent and time is two divided by 100 so two zeros will cancel out and we will get 800. So simple interest is 800. Let's take next example. So we are given principal rupees 4000, time 2 years, and the rate say 10 years. Now we apply formula SI equals P into R into T divided by 100. We put the values. P is 4000. The rate is 10 and time is 2 divided by 100. So 1, 2, 1, 2. So we get 800 rupees. Now suppose we want to find out amount. So amount equal to principal plus simple interest. So we write principal 4000 plus interest is 800. The total is the rupees 4800. Now question for you. Find simple interest. So one, P equal to rupees 10,000, R equal to 5% and time is 2 years. Second question, P equal to 1500 rupees, R equal to 10%, time is 1.5 years. Third question, P equal to 1000 and R equal to 7.5% and time equal to 2.5 years. So you have to find out simple interest and amount also. Okay, now let's take one more step. So next step is, suppose we are given simple interest and we have to find out principal, the rate is given and time is given. Example, suppose SI is given as 400 and the rate is 10%. Time is two years. And we have to find out principal. So we apply same formula. P SI equals P into R into T divided by 100. Here we put the values. So SI is 400. P we don't have, so we can write P here. The rate, rate we have 10, time we have 2 divided by 100. Now, 1, 0 we can cancel. So we get 400 equals P into 2 divided by 10. Now we have to find out P, so what do we do? Here, 10 is in denominator, so we can send it in the side. So it will become numerator. So we can say 400 into 10. 
and this two is a numerator, so this time here it will become denominator, and then p. Now two five. So we will get p equal to two thousand. Now let's take another example. S i is given as twelve hundred. P is to be found. R is five percent, and time is say one year. Again, we apply formula. S i equal to P into R into T divided by hundred. We put the values. One hundred equal to P is to be found into rate. The rate is five into time is one divided by hundred. Now we shift directly. This hundred is in denominator, so in this side it will become numerator, and this five is in numerator, so this will become denominator. So we write it P equals twelve hundred into hundred divided by five. Now we try to consider five. Twenty times, so this will become two four zero 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 minus. Right now, questions for you. Find principal. Question one. S I is one thousand. The rate is ten percent, and time is two years. Second question: S I is fifteen hundred rupees, and R is five percent. Time is two years, and P is to be found. Okay, S I is given as two thousand. The rate is seven point five percent, and the time is three years. You have to find out. So this is all for today. Thank you.